since I'm still waiting on the uh, lithium iron phosphate battery to come in and the extra supercapacitor so I can finish building the other three strings I need, I'm going to go today and build a window mount for the three little displays that I showed you in the overview. And I figured I'd give it a shot. I've never played with this before, but it's called PA Lite. It's a foamed PVC, PVC board. Say that three times fast. Um, probably about three millimeters thick. Apparently it's used a lot in cosplay, making costumes and stuff like that if you want to make armor. Uh, it's heat formable. So I'm hoping to make sort of like a project enclosure out of it, custom made, that will fit in my windshield right uh, to the right of where my ultra gauge is, right in the upper left hand corner. I'll show you when we go outside to the car, but I want to have it mounted up there. This way I can keep an eye on it uh, for longevity and see how long, how well it's running but it's not obtrusive and I don't have to look all over the place. But apparently this board, even though it's plastic, actually has a grain to it and you can't see it, but it flexes really nice one direction. It doesn't really like to flex the other direction. So I'll have to keep that in mind when I go to uh, heat form this into basically a block. So I'm gonna start with one corner and cut the three holes I need to mount those displays and then we'll just go at it as we can and I'll take it out to the car and form it and try to make a nice box out of it and have the um, RJ45 jack come out of the side. So, bear with me, let's see what we can do with this because I've never done this before. Considering how thick this stuff is, you can actually cut it with just a regular break off blade, which um, I'm also going by the cosplay people on YouTube for uh, how to work with this stuff. And we'll do a nice quick little trace and it goes in fairly deep to begin with. So here's my first box. Let me cut that on out. Okay, so here's the first one. Mounted nice and fleshly. Let's move on to the next two. And now we got two out of three mounted. Yeah, this stuff actually cuts pretty nicely. So let me go ahead and cut the third one. And then we'll start thinking about how we're going to bend it. Okay, I got the three holes cut. So... Let's test fit again. Snaps right in. This one's a little tighter. Snaps right in. And now for this one. Feed the wires through. There we go. Now let's um probably go about an inch or so and then cut off all this extra because we don't need it we're just going to need this so we can fold it on over and make a box in the back of it so let's get rid of this extra here and make it a little easier to work with okay i have it uh clamped down over top this uh angle right here so this way hopefully we can get a nice straight edge we're going to try heating it up with my hot air reflow set at 200 degrees and open tip so this way it's basically the same thing as a regulated hot air gun so that's what the cosplay people use so i'm going to improvise with what i have i don't need a true hot air i got this and if anything i can probably keep from scorching it too so let's give this a shot i'm gonna take a few minutes for it to warm up to warm up the plastic is uh, enough so we can bend it so we're gonna work this nice and slow Okay, time for the final bend for the main piece, then we'll work on the sides, closing them off. And here we got it glued on the bottom. 
I got cleaned up a little bit more and I got the one side glued on. Now I need to modify the other side which is, I know I put it around here somewhere, there it is right there. <laughs> the other side we need to modify it so this way when we go on to it we will have a little slot for this to pop out. So let me go ahead and put a little hole in there and then we'll glue this board in there. And here is the finished version with both sides put on. One here, one there. Here's my little plug-in for the RJ45. See, unplugged and plugged in. And works really good. I switched the labels from here down to the bottom. And I'm not going to install it in the car yet. I'm going to wait until everything's done. As for forming the plastic, I got a little crazy right here. It's not exactly flat, but this is my first time ever using this PA light. So it turned out fairly well. Yeah, you got a little bit of a lump right here, a little indent. <laughs> Didn't quite exactly get it nice and flat, but it's fun to play with. It's cheap and it works fairly well. Yeah, I got this in sleep mode right now and you can wake it up real easy. So, and switch these back to voltage if I want voltage. And it's good to go. So for next time, we are going to be checking out this. So keep tuned. Next week I'll have a review on this battery. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Thumbs up please for the video. And please share this video wherever you can. Thank you.